Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power, the Most High God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Jehovah, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth. I'd like to send my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yarayaya Sharala from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson. Hopefully it's going to be edifying. So the reason why I'm doing this lesson is, you know, I was I was having lunch minutes ago with, you know, the brother Yahawada. And we were just listening to the news, you know. And I noticed that, you know, they kept on showing, you know, this um speaking about the so-called Santa Claus. You know, they kept on showing Santa Claus, Santa Claus, you know, and, you know, publishing all lots of lies on the TV, you know, and it, it was really incredible because these people, they boldly, they, pulled, they boldly tell lies on TV without any problems. And there was something they were showing, which is, um, you know, I searched for it and I found that, that it's not only in Italy, but it's probably all around the world. It's called um, Santa Tracking. So exactly, this is this is what you see. So they kept on showing this on the on on the, on the news, and you know, speaking as if it's some serious thing, you know. So this is this is the lies that they that they tell their children right from from the youth. That's how you know that this kingdom is run by. By the devils, you know, the wicked, you know. So they boldly tell these lies and, <laughs> you know, these wacky-tacky Christians, this is what they show, you know. They tell you Santa Claus is, you know, is going to get to your home, is, is, is going around the world, you know, sharing gifts to, 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 to children. And um, it's really a serious thing here, you know. They tell you to put um, a glass of milk under your chimney, so Santa Claus is going to come through your house, through the chimney and bring your presents and stuff like that, you know, and which everything is fabricated, done by the parents, you know, but they boldly tell these children is lies, lies upon lies. And when the children grow up, they find out that they are lies and they also transmit the same lies to their children. So we're living in a kingdom based on lies, you know, then do you wonder that... <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not telling you lies on the on the demic and and the rest of the other of the crap that they're bringing out you know these people are forgers of lies man let's get a quick scripture in which i'm just going to go into a short history on this um on this um what do you call it on this um christmas holiday that they're about to celebrate tomorrow so this is the book of job job um 13.4 This is the book of Job chapter 13 verse 4. It says, But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. You know, these people are forgers of lies. Now let me see that word forger. Which goes into the word tapal. Taufal. Strong's age 2950. Tafal. Tafal. So as you can hear, it says Tafal. It says a forger to forge, to sew up, to smear, to plaster over, stick, glue. <laughs> and you know what? You know, they believe that the more you tell a lie, you know, the more you keep telling a lie, then it becomes a true. You know, it becomes reality. So this is the enchantment that these devils, they do. You know, they, they operate by lying. Lies, lies, lies. So anyway, tomorrow, 
wakitaki christians you know brainwashed on on unlearned people you know they're ready to worship this deity called saturnalia okay and they believe that their savior was born on the 25th of december which that's uh that's a pure crap you know the scriptures you know tells you otherwise we know that yahweh shai our savior was born during the time of spring probably during the time of um passover you know which how do we know this is the book of luke chapter 2 verse 8 we tells you and there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby keeping watch over their flocks at night so if you go read it telling you how yahweh shai was born in a manger you know the angels appeared to these shepherds so it's telling you that shepherds were out there you know in the fields with their flock you know which tells you that you know if it was winter first of all there is shortage of such shortage of um of grass during the winter the cold no 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 shepherd is going to be out there in the middle of cold you know trying to feed his sheep most especially at night now let's get a comment that i saw here this is the elliot commentary for for english readers it says shepherds abiding in the field it says the fact has been taught on the opposition on the supposition that sheep were commonly folded during the winter months to have a bearing adverse to the common tradition view which fixes 25th december as the day of the nativity at that season it has been urged the weather was commonly too inclement for shepherds and sheep to pass the night in the open air and there was too little grass for pasturage in summer on the other hand the grass on the hills is rapidly burnt up the season at which the grass is greenest is that just before the passover so you can see <laughs> so it gives you precepts here mark 6 39 and john 6 10 and it says and on the wall this appears the most probable date the traditional season which does not appear as such till the fourth century may have been chosen for quite other reasons possibly to displace the old saturnalia mm. it says which coincided with the winter solstice it says it is noticeably noticeable that the earliest latin hymns connected with the festival of christmas dwell on the birth as the rising of the sun of righteousness to the world's wintry darkness so this is this is all going back to what do you call it to the council of nicaea you know so i would really advise you all those who haven't seen the video that i did on the council of nicaea just just a few videos down you know it tells you how those people operated you know that's in um 325 a.d you know by um constantine and they actually you know infused all pagan worship soul invictus which was the 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 deity of the sun you know saturnalia they they, they infused it into christianity and presented it as the modern day christianity as you know it so i'm here on the world history encyclopedia worldhistory.org you know this is saturnalia you can see it says saturnalia was an enduring roman festival dedicated to the agricultural god saturn which was held between the 17th and the 23rd of december each year during the winter solstice you see originating from archaic cultural rituals the roman festivities came to include a general round of gift giving merry making and role reversals so that it became one of the most popular celebrations in the calendar and certainly the jolliest the similarities of some of its features and the timing Paul pushed later into december over time suggesting a strong influence on the christian celebration of christmas so as you can see this is something they've always done from the time old time 
you know they worship this um deity called called saturn which if you click on the name saturn you see this is the deity this is saturn for you you know baby eater that's why they they, they present um they present this their babies to 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 the so-called um santa claus in which they put everything turn words around that santa claus you know is still telling you is satan you know so i did a lesson a deeper lesson last year december but i believe i did it in italian language you know went you know a little more deeper you know i'm just bringing this out you know so we are we in the truth you know as the as the scriptures has told us in the second book of um timothy 2 16 or 15 i believe he says you know study to show thyself approved you know a servant dividing between the word of truth and lies you know just roughly paraphrasing this is what we need to do and not move with every wind of doctrine these are fables that we've been warned not to follow you know these are fables and what they do they cut down trees they chop down trees and you know they deck they deck the trees up and do all sorts of you know let's get that it's in the book of jeremiah chapter 10 So he says, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 10. It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh Shemiah Shai speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said Yahweh, Learn not the way of the heathens, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathens are dismayed at them. Wow. And he says, For the customs of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workman with the axe. They deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and with armor that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must need to be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. So you see, we've been warned about this custom of the people where they cut, they chop down trees, you see, they deck them up with silver and gold. And that's what you just see, the, the Christmas trees, you know. So as you can see, this is what they do. They pick out, you know, they cut out trees. No, they deck them with silver and gold. You know, that's what you're reading there in the book of Jeremiah. We've been warned about all these things. But then they'll say, oh, the Lord knows my heart. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You know, the Lord knows my heart. I can call any name I like. I can do this. But this is what it is, man. You don't know that you're following these devils to participate in their demonic rituals. You know, that's why they have a strong hold on many of these Christians, you know, on Christians in general, you know. Because in 2021, December 24th, and you're still a Christian, man, it means that, man, the most High has actually created you, you know, to destroy you, man. Because, you know, people don't really care about the truth. You know, they care about what their, their heart tells them, in which the scripture tells you that, you know, their, their, their heart is, 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 is deceitful, you know. So... There are lots of things going on in which, you know, you really need to go into all these things and understand the reason why we don't participate in all this pagan wickedness. And what they do is, um, in, um, I believe on the 31st night of December to the 1st of January, they, 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 they celebrate the new year in which what they do is, um, they, they celebrate that to Janus, you know, that's another deity. Let's see if it has it. That's another deity. So that's your dad Janus right there, you know. It says... Oh, they have nothing written on it. Well, you can go look at Encyclopedia, um, sorry, Wikipedia and you know you learn more of janus you know janus is a deity that looks back into the past and looks into the future that's what they celebrate in january that's why january is you know is named after this deity called janus and that's why they celebrate on the 31st night of december 
you know, going into January, they, they celebrate, you know. So we've been warned, you know, not to worship any other God, you know, except the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, we've been we've been seriously warned not to do all these things. Because the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is jealous and is going to destroy you for doing such. So let's pick up um a couple of scriptures, then we'll close up on this lesson. So this is the book of um Isaiah 47:10. These people they they all their life is all based on lies. You know, they tell lies boldly. It says for this is the book of Isaiah 47:10. It says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, Not see it me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee, and thou hast said in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. You know, and this is talking about the wicked, you know, those who are ruling this kingdom right now in all wickedness, you know. They, they, they make you worship all these deities and all any different you can't even avoid it you know you can know all the history that you want but in your waters and your food and all these things you know they put things that are dedicated to different deities you know that's why you know we can't all be saved by the by 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 the, um by by the laws you know we cannot be saved by the laws because there are many things that these people have put that you 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 so un unconsciously how do you say subconsciously you worship but you don't know you know but being in this truth you know you're you're covered by the grace of Yahweh Shai you know this is the grace that we're living you know we can't follow all commandments in this kingdom but we are requested to to follow the commandments to the best of our um abilities that's the way to go you know so these devils you know they do a lot of wickedness they believe people don't know you know that's how the mass they follow them you know. They teach their children lies from, from childhood. You know, the children grow up and they pass the lies to their children. So these lies go on from generation to generation and become, you know, and become a norm, you know. So, hey, hopefully this lesson was edifying. You know, y'all stay strong. You know, this next year we're about to step into, you know, according to this kingdom calendar, you know, we know the year doesn't end down. We know we are in the 10th month and we have two more months to go, you know, but according to this kingdom, you know, it's the, the end of the year. Um. Anyway, as we're saying next year, you know, this devil is going to, you know, turn things up, man, in a crazy way, you know, because he knows that he has a short time. Our Redeemer is soon arriving, you know, hopefully we are part of, we are going to be a part of that elect, you know, we're going to be saved. From the destruction that's about to come so having said this i'd like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahasham yahweh shai waharuka kodash my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace and salutations to the hopeful elect shalom